the shoulders to be held down. This involves the shoulder stabilizers, which are the serratus, which stabilize the scapula and the shoulder area, really important, but often very weak. And the lower trapezius, there are other muscles too, but I'm talking about just these primarily at the moment. So we want the shoulders to move down. So we're gonna show you a version of a headstand preparation that can strengthen that area. You interlock the fingers. The heel of the hand in this instance can come together. It's not how we have the hands in headstand proper. But what it does, it enables you to push down more through the little finger side of the wrist. And when you press down through the little finger, finger side of the wrist, it lifts your shoulders. And that's what you need to feel first to be able to keep that down as you do your headstand. In particular, I'm talking about right now. So you press down. The elbow is under the shoulder and the tricep, the muscle here at the back of the arm, faces back, not over to the side. The flesh on the skin, if you lift your elbows a little, put down and roll out so that the two bones of the forearms stack on top of each other and don't lie next to each other because that doesn't give you the same base. The shoulder blades have to move into the body so I'm going to take the shoulder blades into the body as I take my buttocks up. So the first one part is to get up. If you cannot straighten the legs, keep the legs bent. More, it's more important to get the shoulders in and the bottom ribs up towards the pelvic rim at this point. And then you can come down and rest. And if you feel that was worked for you, we can try another one. This is not, this can be a bit, uh, if you're not prepared for it, you can fall backwards. So when you go up, you have to make sure your shoulder blades are moving in and you take one foot not too far up the wall and you push. Now if you feel you can't control it, you have to come down. You take the other leg up. You're looking for a parallel thighs, heel to buttocks perpendicular from elbows to hips, bottom ribs up to the front rim of the pelvis. Head should be hanging, it's not on anything. Okay, and then you walk down or put your foot on the floor and rest. Now I'm going to show you, if you're a little stiff, I'm going to show with Sebastian. To have his toes turned under and heels against the wall and do as much as you can. He's going to sit back a little bit towards the heels, a little bit, doesn't have to go all the way. If you have knee issues, just stay perpendicular. The fingers are interlocked with the heel of the hand pressing down onto the floor. The triceps facing back, the outer shoulder and the outer elbows in line. So as you press down through the wrist forearm, you already feel the shoulder blades, you'll feel a lift in the shoulders. If you're up to doing this, you will have already done this in class. This is not for people who've done nothing. It's best you go to a teacher and get some guidance. Then he's going to think of lifting the hips up to the ceiling with the, the shoulder blade moving in. Pull your back away from my hand, away from my hand. Move it towards the wall, a little bit more. That's it. So you've got to be able to hold yourself up. I'm going to go behind Sebastian. This is only for your information so that you can't do this. I'm going to ease his shoulders in a little bit. Okay, and then come down, Sebastian. He's, uh, on the edge again, I'm going to get him to take his elbows a little bit forward, there we go, so that he can really feel the action because if you're right on the edge and your body starts to shake, you're not going to achieve, you're not going to teach the muscles what it really needs to know. So you pull the shoulders in and you pipe the buttocks up. Up you go. You're going to pull in first. You've really got to feel this area. Come in. Bend your legs a little bit, Sebastian. Now pull this in again. Pull it there. We've got some more movement. Pull it in, pull it in, and then only then straighten your legs. It's not important, this is about the shoulders, it's not about your hamstrings, they can be bent. So you've got to feel the length, that's it. And then, are you okay to walk up, Sebastian? You can take a foot up. There we go, that's it. So I've got Sebastian's elbows further out because he needed it for his shoulders. So we can take your feet down a little bit. There you go, that's it. But it can work. Okay, I can walk down, Sebastian, thank you. So the elbows can come out a little bit, so you make sure you maintain the action of the shoulder blade into the body. Walking up the wall is if you're in class, but it's a nice way to strengthen the serratus area and the muscles that are required for a good strong headstand and other poses as well, but we're talking headstand at the moment. Thanks, Sebastian.